The keratome enters through the anterior sclera, transconjunctivally, limbally, and through the peripheral cornea into the anterior chamber. Make sure that the exit and entry of the tunnel are parallel to each other. HPMC fills the chamber. Erexis is performed and it's pretty controlled because there is no leakage of viscoelastic strip from the anterior chamber which shallows the chamber. The erexis is made parallel to the pupillary margin. See that the cystidome is not passing through the tunnel. It enters the floor of the tunnel at the limbus and gets into the anterior chamber. A trapezoid tunnel. The anterior end of the tunnel is slightly widened to minimize the corneal damage when nucleus is being taken out. Hydrodissection is done separating the capsule from the cortex. The nucleus epinucleus mass is rotated clockwise and anticlockwise to loosen the cortex and to facilitate cortical aspiration. Nucleus and epinucleus are not separated from each other. Loose cortex is aspirated. The nucleus is bisected within the capsular bag. Slight movement of the nucleus epinucleus mass. A sustainer holds the nucleus and the cystitome bisects it. The nucleus is now prolapsed into the anterior chamber. It's already bisected. It is soft separated and it's extracted from the anterior chamber using continuous inflow of viscoelastic in front of the nucleus using a 25 gauge cannula. It is supported uh, behind by a mini vectus. The pieces of nucleus are removed and see that the tunnel is not stretched during the procedure at all. This maintains the integrity of the collagen at the tunnel and uh, it doesn't uh, leak postoperatively because of this. It enables complete closure of the tunnel soon after the surgery without any fish mouthing. The cortex is easily aspirated now because of hydrodissection. Facilitates removal of its separation from the capsular bag. The uh, pressure throughout the uh, technique is low. It's atmospheric or at the highest it is the normal intraocular pressure. The anterior chamber is not ballooned backwards. There is no stress on the posterior capsule and the zonules and uh, the retinal and uh, optic nerve circulation continues to be unhampered during the procedure. So there is no deepening of the chamber at all. The endothelium is maximally protected by this technique because of continuous visco infusion while managing the nucleus. As there are no side ports, this is a single entry surgery. There is only one tunnel uh, through which the surgery is done. So, sub-incisional cortex has to be removed by J-shaped camera. The uh, eye hole is uh, implanted into the capsular bag, as you can see here, through the slit cartridge technique, which minimizes the damage to the lens during the implantation. The lens is positioned in such that haptic haptic junctions are at uh, 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock positions. The entire viscoelastic from behind the lens in the anterior chamber in the angle region and the posterior chamber are uh, aspirated. Thank you.